everyone, this is Mr. Rob Rona here again, and today I just have another short video, and I just want to quickly talk about all the different um, items you can pick up when you are playing a uh, spell break. So there are uh, two main or three main categories of items that you'll see. They'll either be like clothing items that you can put on, so amulets, boots, um, or belts. They'll either be runes, which give you a special power, like that you activate and it's in the center of your um, attack system. Like with your two elements, it'll be in between those two. That's the one shown there. For me, it's uh, binded to shift. And you'll also have, if I can quickly find something up here, you'll have consumables, like um, here, potions and shield potions as well. And obviously, those, those go into your inventory and you can use those to heal your health or, you know, get more shield. And there's also scrolls, which act, I consider consumables, because you read them and then they, like, give you a, a certain buff. Different scrolls will do different things. And actually, it's sometimes the um, buff is random depending on the poll, uh, the scroll, and they can do quite different things. Um, here we go. I'll quickly read one for you. So, as I read it, and it'll tell you in the bottom right what it actually does for you. So, with at least 80% mana my spell damage increases so you know they give you different effects and like increase some of them increase your running speed increase your like um, mana or like attack damage they can just do a bunch of things to buff you generally so you want to make sure you're like reading those po um scrolls whenever you can and you know drinking potions to make sure your health is full unlike i have <laughs> and you know having shields to make sure your shield gauge is full and what these amulets and um boots and stuff will do obviously they tell you here but basically boots, they just increase your run speed, uncommon belt, or just normal belts, they make um, armor, so like your armor gauge in the bottom left, um, it'll just make it so you can uh, have more armor. So like normally you'll just have 20, but the legendary that I have on now, it gives you up to um, 100 armor hit points, which basically doubles your health bar if you have all those, so that's really good. But you need to have armor potions on top of that. And the amulet, it just increases your mana, so as you can see, um, my mana bar is actually a lot larger, so you know, it's, if you don't know what a mana bar is, it's a thing that goes down, like every time you do a, a regular attack and it goes down, or if you try and fly and then it empties and you need to recharge, it just gives you a bunch more mana um, from having these, and obviously you're going to get more the uh, higher rarity of the uh, item. Now runes are where it gets a bit more complicated, because there are so many of them and they can do a lot of different things. So, um, I'll just quickly talk about uh, Spring Step while I have it. Spring Step is basically one of the um, the simple and quick mobility runes. It's just a little jump, it like leaps you forwards, um, puts you through the air, and it, but it comes back very quickly. So it's one of the mobility ones that like is more for like agility, maybe not so yeah, much mobility and like being able to traverse terrain, kind of like, a, you know, this is like, trap ability being able to move around the map fast this is just um the spring step is just about being able to like move around and move quickly you know throw off your opponent's aim because you know you get thrown into the air and you go forwards and it would be really hard to hit them when you're moving this fast so yeah it's just something good to like you know move around fast and you know throw off your opponent's aim and move yeah just move quickly and unusually the shadow step room is actually pretty similar um except it doesn't launch you as far and, but it does make you invincible, uh, invisible <laughs> while it does so. So if I do this, it'll dash me forward a little bit, and I'm invisible for about, uh, is it a whole second or a half a second while it does so? So it doesn't dash me as, fo like, give me as much, um, ab uh, agility and move me as much, but it is good because I'm briefly invincible while I do it, so the opponent, uh, like, won't know, well, usually doesn't know how to hit me, or, like, where to aim for me, so I get, like, a little bit, it's good for running away and, like, trying to get away from your opponent. Um, cause you know, they can't hit you for a little bit, so they're like, oh, what do I do? And a lot of the time, if you just do this and go in that direction, they'll know you went in that direction, so I find it good, like, usually to, like, turn around and, like, trick them, cause they'll tr try and be aiming in front of you. Um, but then if you turn around, then you get some good opportunity to run away. So yeah, that's the Shadow Step room. Rune? Teleportation room. Pretty self-explanatory. It has a long cooldown. So it's not as good as an, um, an agility, like the spring step and stuff that are like very short cooldowns and just like little bursts of movement that let you move around like really well to, you know, avoid attacks and avoid things. But the teleportation room is good for mobility and like moving around the map. So I can just press it down and you can teleport to really far away locations. Like I instantly I'm all the way over here. And so yeah, this is really good for mobility and not only just like, you know, moving around the map to, you know, get to the next stage or to get to, you know, so, like a loot area or something you can also use it like if you're in battle and you're like not doing very well you can just quickly like teleport away and you know it's gonna take them a while to get to you if they don't have 
um, some kind of, of like way to get to you quickly. Like if you're against someone like stone and they don't have a good like mobility uh, thing, like maybe they have got like a, a wolf rune, they're not really going to have a way to get to you. So if you've done this, you've effectively like just gotten away for free. So like I'm up in this temple and there's no way that they can get to me quickly. And you know, I'm a frost. If I'm playing Frostmourne, I can then just throw out my things and like run away super fast and there's no way they can catch me. So yeah. Teleportation is uh, less agility based because it takes a long time to cool down, so you can't just like throw it out a bunch when you're in a battle. Um, but it, you know, it's good for getting in and getting out and moving around quickly. Okay, the Wolf's Blood Rune is something that I actually should use a lot more. I always get to use it because I'm like, oh, it doesn't really like move you around, like it's not going to be that useful. But it's really good, especially if you're on, because a lot of people recommend for beginners that you just like go solos and you just go for as many fights as you can. You know, go get good good practice at going into fights and like you know you know actual combat rather than just like looting the whole game until it's like the last five people and the wolf's rune is really good at doing that because if i call it um it highlights every opponent in red even the ones that are super far away see that guy over there i know they're there i know this person's here i can see everyone that is possible for me to um attack and they get highlighted in red so it's really good for like if you're getting bored and you're like oh, i can't find anyone i don't know where anyone is just call your wolf's rune and it'll uncover everyone you're like oh okay there's someone i'm going in like and then you can run in on them and like it's also good for catching people off guard because they might not not think you know that they're there but uh, obviously you know because you're like seeing through like wall hacks like seeing seeing them through walls but uh yeah so it's mainly used as like an aggressive tool for like finding opponents and being able to see where they are even if they're behind walls or anything and it's also like very good for improving your aim because you know sometimes it's hard to see someone from a distance you know if they're like so far away and they're hidden in, like bright red it's a lot easier to see them that way so yeah um next uh wolf's blood rune flight rune flight rune works very similarly to the teleportation room uh except i think it I don't know if it can move you further, but you just have a little bit more um, control of where you're going, like while it's happening. And it obviously doesn't do it instantly like uh, teleportation does as well. But um, you can also, you know, control like go upwards and actually, you know, it definitely does take you further than the teleportation room. Wow, that is really far. Like I started over all the way over at that castle and I'm over here. So just like the teleportation room, this is going to be really useful for getting in and out of battles. So like if you want to come in on someone super quickly that you see far away, you can just fly in and you're suddenly there and they probably don't expect you to be there that quickly. Or if you're doing bad in a battle, you know, you can run away and it's very unlikely that the opponent's going to be able to catch up with you when you're moving that fast. And also, you know, it's just a really good like ability for traversing the map. See, like if I'm jumping around, you know, I see, oh, I want to go to that, um, that castle over there, activate my flight rune. I can actually probably fly there instantly. Yeah, just from all the way over at that castle, I could just fly over here. And by the time, you know, I've collected some loot and stuff, you know, I'll grab a belt, grab some potions and stuff, maybe drink a potion because I've died a bit. I'll have it back and I can do it again to, you know, make another big, like, long travel distance. So, yeah, it's really good. And I think, yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, okay. Definitely sure that it takes you further than the teleportation room because it has a max of, like, how far you can go. So, yeah, another really good mobility tool for moving yourself around the map whether you're getting in and out of battles or just, you know, moving around to collect loot, it's very good. And yes, as you just saw then, if you run into something, it does cancel it. Uh, spring Step Room, um, I already talked about that. That's the first one I talked about. It's just a little leap and, you know, just launches you forward. It's good for, you know, agility and just quickly moving around and changing your trajectory to make it hard for the opponent to hit you. And, you know, you can move around and hit them instead. The Spring Step, it's kind of like that, but like uh, much more linear and intense. Like, you just get launched straight upwards, you're in the sky, and you fall down very slowly. And you might be like, okay, what, what is that going to do? Like, how is that useful at all? Like, it just puts you in the sky, like, people can shoot you out of the sky or something, like, and you're not moving that far. And, actually, you are, you do move quite far, like, without being on the ground, you move, like, pretty far. And if I did it, like, in the air and I do something like this, and then I do it, I get so high in the sky. And I'm just, you know, traveling like an angel, gliding down and falling. So, yeah. It's really good, it's really like elegant and good for you know getting to high places obviously. Like you can get super high with this. Especially like if you've done something like with um a wind gauntlet or something to put yourself high in the sky. But what this is really used for is like if you're in combat and like there's like a lot happening, like you know, maybe there's a um an earth user making earthquakes on the ground or there's like toxic puddles, you can just like get away from that and you can actually shoot while you're flying up in the sky. You can shoot them from the heavens and while you you know 
elegantly falling from the heavens. You know, you've escaped battle, you're all the way in the air, it's probably going to be a bit hard for them to reach you. And once you're up there, you can, you know, get some good aim on them, because you're falling very slowly. So, like, I'm barely moving in the sky. So, you know, I'm just chilling. I, like, look for someone I want to hit, shoot them with, the, like, fireballs, you know, even rain a bunch down from above. So, yeah, it's just really good for, like, getting out of combat and, you know, raining down from above or just you know you can even use it as a like just get out of jail card like just just get away but it, it's not as good as a teleportation room or a flight room in like in its ability to get out of combat but still a very useful rune in certain scenarios dash rune is uh, quite similar to a spring step rune except it doesn't do like the like jump arc where it like puts you up and down it just goes like puts you forward a little bit and a lot of people think this is it really sucks because like it's pretty boring and i agree it's pretty boring but mobility is really important in this game. So, like, if you jump forwards, there's not much you can do to change how you fly. Like, maybe, like, if I keep holding forward, I'll keep going forwards. And if I hold backwards, I can kind of, like, slow down and, like, until I almost just, like, fall flat down. But if I jump, my opponent almost knows exactly where I'm going to be going. Because I can't change my trajectory that much. Even if I hold, like, right, I only move slightly to the right. So, if, if someone jumps, it's pretty easy to hit them out of the air in this game, luckily. Like, obviously they can keep flying upwards, so it can be hard to tell how much they're actually going to jump. Like, if you do something like this and then go again, that can be a little bit interesting. But still, it's like, because you can't, like, get too many real accelerations, so you can't, like, juke them and then, like, yeah. So, but runes like this are very good, because you can just actually, like, completely change your, like, jump cycle and, like, change your trajectory. So if I'm jumping this way and I do it into the air this way and I go that way, they're like, it really throws off your opponent's aim. They're like, wait, what? I thought they were heading in that direction. Where are they? They just did a certain thing. And because it's like a an agility move, it comes back really quickly. So you only need three seconds. You can do it again. So you, you'll probably be able to use this a bunch of times in a battle. So like, you know, if you throw out an attack or something, you know, do one attack and you get, uh, you can throw out some more attacks and then like, you do another spring step. And by the time you've done that, you can do another one and you just... You're moving around a lot, like around the battlefield, throwing things at your opponent, jumping around, and you, yes, it does go where you aim, so you can even aim, aim it into the sky, and you will go upwards. So if I do something like this, see, I went off the ground. So yeah, it's just a very, a very good and very fast recharging, like, basic agility tool, just good for, you know, changing your trajectory, moving weird, and, you know, faking out your opponent, maybe with your jumps and stuff. Invisibility rune is kind of like the, uh... Wait, what was that one? I always forget what the shadow step rune. Except it doesn't step you, you just go invincible. Uh, oh, invincible. Yeah, well, what am I in second grade? <laughs> you go invisible for a quite a lengthy period of time. And, and it just do does exactly what it says on the tin. You're just invisible. The opponent can still hit you. But, you know, you're invisible, so it's a lot harder for them to do so. But do keep in mind, you are just invisible. You're not invincible. You can't walk into toxic puddles and just get away. So you do have to do some, like evasive maneuvers to like get out of things sometimes and like and you have to walk like move in strange ways like you don't just like throw it out and then keep walking or like jumping in the sh same direction because people are gonna like probably predict that you're doing that and they're just gonna shoot in front of where you were looking before and then you're gonna still get hit so a lot of the time that when you throw it out you're gonna be wanting it run, run a direction and then like turn around and like go invisible and like go in the other direction so that they really don't know where you are when you're invisible and then um, because you can actually attack while you're invisible, you're not going to stay invisible, like, but you can, you know, get in a good position, they really don't know where you are, and then, like, just quickly pop a fireball at them, and then, you know, while they can't even see you. So, yeah, it's a pre pretty good, like, for in combat, and it comes back re reasonably quickly, it just has a slightly long, like, um, start-up animation, but, like, see, if you, like, get away and you're hiding behind a rock, oh, wait, I didn't even realize, you can actually charge your, um, your frost shot while you're invisible, okay, that's pretty awesome. So if, if I go invisible, like turn around so they thought I was going in that direction that direction, and they're like kind of like, oh, where are they? I can charge up this while I'm invisible. They still don't know where I am, and I've just hit them with like 110 damage if I'm <laughs> got like a legendary frost gauntlet. So yeah, that's really useful. Anyways, guys, um, that's what I was talking about, and obviously that's gauntlets on top of all of the stuff we've been talking about. So yeah, that's just my little uh, breakdown of all the different things, uh, the, or like the items or collectibles you get when you're playing Spellbreak, and just in case you wanted a little breakdown or explanation on all of those. So, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching.